I met a hooker the other day. She said, give me 10 inches and make me bleed. So I screwed her twice and punched her in the mouth. Game guy. I play video games. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Game Guy, and welcome to my new series, Gamer Tells Jokes. I've been wanting to do this series for a very long time, and this is the first episode. So, uh, basically, I just tell, you know, a couple of jokes, and at the end, I'll tell a pickup line of the week. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Oh, and before I go, I just want to point out that this gameplay is a search and destroy gameplay and league play. I think we were playing against a team of four, or I had a... They had a team of three on their team, or I had three guys that were together on my team. I can't, I'm not for sure. I can't remember. Uh, but uh, I went 10-2, and two, only died twice in this game, and that's pretty good because Search and Destroy, uh, I think I think it's like my worst game mode. So, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go and uh, let you watch this video. And uh, there might be two parts of this video. Like, I might cut this video short, uh, not the Gamer Tales joke segment, but the gameplay and you'll see the rest of the gameplay in another video that will be after this one so hope you guys enjoy and uh, see you guys later Johnny was playing outside when he really had to go to the bathroom he runs in and his grandma was about to take a shower he looks at her crotch and says what's that she says well it's a beaver Johnny the next day the same thing happens only his mom is taking the shower he says mom I know what that is it's a beaver but I think grandma's is dead because his tongue is hanging out a man was in a bar all day and he had to use the bathroom. He was in there for a while yelling, so the barmaid reluctantly went to the bathroom to check on him. Sir, what are you yelling about? You're scaring the customers. Every time I try to flush the toilet, something keeps biting my balls. Sir, please get off the mop bucket. A blonde goes on a hot date and ends up making out with a guy in his car. The guy asks if she would like to go to the back seat. No, yells the blonde. Things get even hotter and the guy asks again. For the last time, no, says the blonde. Frustrated, the guy asks, well, why the heck not? The blonde says, because I want to stay up here with you. I met a hooker the other day. She said, give me 10 inches and make me bleed. So I screwed her twice and punched her in the mouth. An Avon lady was delivering products in a high rise and was riding in the elevator. Suddenly, she had the powerful urge to fart. Since no one was in the elevator, she let it go, and it was a doozy. Of course, the elevator then stopped at the next floor, so she quickly used some Avon pine scented spray to cover up the smell. A man entered the elevator and immediately made a face. Holy cow, what's that smell? I don't know, sir. I don't smell anything. What does it smell like to you? Like someone crapped a Christmas tree. One day in line at the company cafeteria, Jack says to Mike behind him, My elbow hurts like crap. I guess I better see a doctor. Listen, you don't have to spend that kind of money, Mike replies. There's a diagnostic computer at the drugstore at the corner. Just give it a urine sample and the computer will tell you what's wrong and what to do about it. It takes 10 seconds and costs us $10. A heck of a lot cheaper than a doctor. So Jack deposits a urine sample in a small jar and takes it to the drugstore. He deposits $10 and the computer lights up and asks for the urine sample. He pours the sample into the slot and waits. Ten seconds later, the computer ejects a printout. You have tennis elbow. Soak your arm in warm water and avoid heavy activity. It will improve in two weeks. That evening, while thinking about how amazing the, the new technology was, Jack began wondering if the computer could be fooled. He mixed up some tap water, a stool sample from his dog, urine samples from his wife and daughter, and masturbated into the mixture for good measure. Jack hurries back to the drugstore, eager to check the results. He deposits $10, pours in his concoction, and awaits the results. The computer prints the following. Your tap water is too hard. Get a water softener. Your dog has a ringworm. Bathe him with antifungal shampoo. Your daughter has a cocaine habit. Get her into rehab. Your wife is pregnant. Twin girls. They aren't yours. Get a lawyer. If you don't stop playing with yourself, your elbow will never get better. A farmer was sitting in the neighborhood bar getting drunk. A man came in and asked the farmer, Hey, why are you sitting here on this beautiful day getting drunk? The farmer shook his head and replied, Some things you just can't explain. So what happened that's so horrible, the man asked as he sat down next to the farmer. Well, the farmer said, Today I was sitting by my cow, milking her. Just as I got the bucket full, she lifted her leg and kicked over the bucket. Okay, said the man, but that's not so bad. Some things you just can't explain, the farmer replied. So what happened then, the man asked. The farmer said, I took her left leg and tied it to the post on the left. And then the man asked, Well, I sat back down and continued to milk her. Just as I got the bucket full, she took her right leg and kicked over the bucket. The man laughed and said, Again? The farmer replied, Some things you just can't explain. So what did you do then? The man asked. I took her right leg this time and tied it to the post on the right. And then? Well, I sat back down and began milking her again. Just as I got the bucket full, the stupid cow knocked over the bucket with her tail. Hmm. 
the man said and nodded his head. Some things you just can't explain, the farmer said. So what did you do, the man asked. Well, the farmer said, I didn't have any more ropes, so I took off my belt and tied her tail to the rafter. In that moment, my pants fell down and my wife walked in. Some things you just can't explain. And now, for the pickup line of the week. Get in the van, or I'll shoot you. Hey guys, this is Game Guy. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Gamer Tells Jokes. It was something new I wanted to bring to my channel for a very long time. Probably, like, at least six months. <laughs> um, I just never got around to doing it, and I finally did, and I think it was pretty good. I'm proud of it, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you laughed. Uh, if you didn't, screw you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But uh, I'm kind of new to this outro kind of thing, so uh, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Uh, you can see my Twitter name down there in the left corner, at uh, GameGuy. Go follow me to catch up on my latest uh, videos and things like that. And uh, you can click the picture in the center of the video for the second part of this Search and Destroy gameplay where I went 10 and 2. Uh, the commentary that's over that uh, gameplay is a commentary montage thing where I messed up a lot on my commentaries like I do that a lot I probably restart about 10 times and I just decided to save a few because I messed up so many times and it just aggravated me so uh I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will enjoy it so click on it and get to watching